In this video I will be talking about muscle soreness, what causes it and also how to solve the problem. Heavy training can but does not have to lead to muscle soreness and this is also called delayed onset muscle soreness. Imagine you just did your one rep max and this means that you will do the heaviest weight that you can do for only one repetition. Then chances are that this was quite heavy and therefore you might get muscle soreness. It is uncertain what causes soreness as I said before. So it is also very difficult to find methods that will help you to reduce muscle soreness. However, there are a couple of things that people believe will help you to reduce soreness. Stretching? No. Massage? No. Mm, ducks. No. Actually there is not a lot you can do about muscle soreness. Some of the things that people believe will help to reduce muscle soreness are massaging and also stretching before or after the workout, doing a warm up before the workout and also using some kind of cold warm ba baths. baths. Baths, baths, how do you say that? Stretching is great to increase your flexibility and to improve your range of motion. However, it doesn't do anything to reduce your muscle soreness. Then there is the idea that cold and warm baths work against muscle soreness. However, this isn't the case, at least not according to the articles that I found. I also get a lot of messages from people who say that after a workout, an intense workout, they don't feel sore and they think that this will not lead to results. However, if you feel sore, you can get results, but also without feeling sore, which is most of the time in my case, you can still get results. I also found an article that shows that working out while having muscle soreness does not aggravate the soreness so you can safely work out even though you are sore from a previous workout however it is recommendable to take at least one full day of rest between two muscle groups so if you are working out your chest on Monday then don't work out your chest on Tuesday wait at least until Wednesday so my advice to you is don't do workouts that are too advanced for you so that are above your level of fitness also eat proper f nutrition make sure that you sleep enough make sure that you take enough rest and don't worry because most of the time soreness will go away in just a few days. If you have questions as well and want me to solve them by looking through some articles and please let me know by sending me a personal message or simply putting it in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. And warm.